you you my being, favorite time of the you year. You being all people ever Everybody's in the history right. of the world. Because Perry Smith is here, and it's time for the 403. Kyle Jellings, folks. Nobody gives an introduction Jeff, like Kyle Jellings. Jellings. Checks in the mail. All, all right. right. Uh, we have this, but you know, Special normally. Guests. Special guests abound. We have, this is an, a kind of an extended edition of the 403, because we're going to hit uh, sports later. Right. Um, after the break. However, you ha- you brought a guest with you. I did. So, man, this is just the, a 403 party. I do. I have, I have Pam Rubenstein in the studio with us here, and she is an AOC student at Academy of the Canyons. Am I correct? <laughs> Yes. All Hi, right. Mike. You should know the name of our school. I'm getting there. I feel like I'm just the peanut gallery whenever I host you the 403 really with you. Are. Just there for comments. Tori does a great job. You are the virtual equivalent of like the online commenter. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's you are during our post. That's me. Will. At least I'm using my full name. I'm not using like, you know, that's true. something else. Anyway, go ahead. 403. Anyways, if I may. Uh, so, no, Pam, you were here to talk a little bit about career exploration, right? Tell me a little bit about this program going on at Academy of the Canyons because it was kind of interesting. Well, we have to take for the first year. So freshman year, like basic classes. So one of these basic classes is career exploration, and we have to explore any career or area that we are interested in. So I will be interested in journalism, and we had to do multiple projects exploring how the interests affect us and how it will affect our career and what colleges we may want to go to let me ask you this what made you pick journalism um well i've always been really curious about different things maybe even nosy okay but no, that's good we were talking about that right is a yeah. healthy dose of, of nosiness is good for a journalist um now that you've spent uh, like 10 minutes observing the newsroom back there are you totally <laughs> off journalism now or you have a bit? <laughs> no i still think i want to do it all right good good i'm glad i haven't driven that was a away. test you passed yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, and so so then, like going on uh, next year, you learn a little bit more about the actual technical aspects of journalism, because or yeah, how does the career exploration kind of go from here? Uh, well, I only have a couple more weeks left of this class, oh, and nice. it shouldn't be that much more after this. Okay, so so you think you're gonna stick it out and maybe check out journalism a little bit longer now? Yeah, I think I'm gonna start taking more classes at College of the Canyons to right, see if. So uh, don't worry about Kyle and his and his signals. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> so what? Um, what kind of classes are you taking? Able to take at College of the Canyons now? Are you able to take like normal college credit courses, or how does this work? Yeah, I can only take eleven credits, or else it's considered full time college student. Oh, okay. So and you're still in high school. Yeah. Okay. So so balance. Yeah, and then <laughs> I won't be able to take a lot of classes yet. But when I as I get older, I'll be able to take more college classes. Right. And how do you like uh, being on the College of the Canyons campus as you know an AOC student? Is that um, fun? Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a lot more freedom than I would have at any other high school. Now, uh, where did you where did you transfer? Uh, you're you're from the Santa Cruz Valley area. Yes. Right? You're up here. Oh, okay. All right, right on. So our future of journalism right here. Right here, in studio. Right here. Can we talk a little bit about the, the, the story rundown? Yeah, that? that's the, okay. what the 403 is all about. Well, it's about a lot of things. Yeah, it's that's true. Things. And learning about uh, the good luck in your endeavors. Yeah. I, yeah, I am a, I am a journalism now. school guy myself, so yeah. I know... Uh, I'm I'm on the fence. I, I always encourage wait, people. <laughs> no, no, no. I, well, I was telling, as I was telling Pam, yeah. um, <laughs> there's obviously a lot of advantages Absolutely. into journalism, and if you're not sure which avenue of journalism you want to follow, then journalism degree is a great option because it can help you you get a little bit of experience doing different kinds of journalism but if you're the person that really knows you want to focus on like i just want to cover politics i want to be that person on cnn then sometimes a political science degree is a great deal too yeah um you know and as you know from being in journalism there's a lot of different routes but you kind of sometimes always end up at the same place at a media outlet that's true there, there's two and but there's the, so many stories. the cool thing about uh, journalism is the two people on earth that know more about um anything is our journalists because they have to cover a ton of different subjects and uh, ASL interpreters. Oh, yeah. Sign language. Yeah, folks, sign because, language interpreters. They know everything. Because you have to read a lot. Yeah, all well, the, time, the way if you'd you like have to explain this, there's some, there's some at like college campuses. That's all they do. And they just go to different schools and different campuses. They know everything. I'm just wondering if you maybe had an experience with an ASL person. I did, yeah. It just kind of changed everything. I did, I feel yeah. like that's where this is yep, going that's from. exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So top stories today. <laughs> we right have like a minute, that. by the way. Okay. Well, I'll go quickly. Okay. Um, we were at a breakfast with Steve Knight. And he was talking that's to the community true. about his first 112 days in office and kind of running down the legislative priorities. Uh, then I heard from Michaela Bensko, who um, was very involved in the nonprofit community out here. And she had an experience that went viral on an airline. Um, they At Virgin Atlantic, I guess they had an issue with her service dog and you know so it became an issue 
Wow. And yeah, and she, so she just spoke with, she was telling me this morning, she spoke with the executive vice president of Virgin Airlines about what was going on and, and needed to, um, they were just trying to make it right with her. But she was saying, no, this is a bigger problem. We need to address uh, how corporations nationwide are are dealing with the Americans with Disabilities Act. So I think it's kind of an interesting story. Um, Valencia Valley, we had some residents uh, upset because the school wants to build a fence there to keep the kids safe, but it's going to destroy their seamless property line that connects the school with the park. So, and it was interesting because uh, the school board president, Christy Smith for the New Hall School District is also a resident there. So she obviously was, was siding with the school district and saying, no, this is something that we need to do. Dante Acosta had a quick news conference today to help out with his bill. He's been trying to get funding for foster kids. Um, and his first effort is a $500 bill that he's uh, looking to expand down the line. But that's kind of interesting. One of the things he was noting was some of the challenges facing foster kids in that um, 25% of them end up incarcerated after they leave the Holy foster cow, youth program. Man. And only half of them are graduating high school. So really stark numbers. Grief. Um, and these kids obviously need support. Uh, Brian Caforio is making a big announcement on Saturday. He's probably going to be running for Congress again against oh boy. Congressman Steve Knight, who we were just talking that's with. So. We were just hanging out with him. <laughs> right. So that's going to be an interesting uh, race again, I'm sure. Um, DA was warning us about online scams for their Fraud Friday. Just something you can check out in Ooh, the newsletter. Hashtag Frog Friday. I like that. Not Frog Friday. That is... Uh, Oh, you, th- you said Frog Friday. Did I it's say Frog? Fraud. Friday. Oh, Fraud Friday. That's different. We're worried about scams here, not toads. All right. Limbs, <laughs> we had a feature on it. Don't you dare shake your head at me after that. Uh, Limbs, the Lifton Institute for Media Arts and Sciences, is job retraining veterans. They were one of the sponsors, actually, today of the breakfast. Yeah, Jimmy was there. Yeah. Jimmy's got dulcet tones, by the way. I recorded him doing some <laughs> special, but All right. he's, he's got a solid voice on him. But go ahead. Not totally related to my newscast. No, I have right. nothing very, to do. Very interesting nothing update. Nothing right. to do. It's good to more information. Listen, man, I'm just I'm a I'm a wealth of information. All right, and I think that's all we have. I'm running into your traffic. Hey, let's go to hometownstation.com if you missed anything. That's where you get the rest. That's where it is. Or sign up for the KHDS uh, newsletter. It's by going home. Thanks, Pam. Room for something. Thanks, Pam. Good luck to you. Thank you. I hope all of your dreams come true. (laughs) Thanks. All right. Good.